Get Sala CF. <coughs> I mean, think about it. There's a high press in tactic. To be honest, Pep is very defensive, I've noticed. Like, remember we had this thing, like... Hi, Salah. Hey, this is not Blitz, bro. What's wrong with you? I even upgraded his finishing to 97. He's really playing. I'm not gonna move until you move. Boy, I gotta break your confidence first. So you can cry pay to win. Shit. Bro, that's the problem, know what I mean? <laughs> hey, Cannavaro doesn't have Fortress. Wait a minute, Do does he? I mean, it's not active anyway. Zero, zero. <coughs> These Prophecy to free teams sell. They always have two attacking fullbacks, man. That's one of the reasons they dominate attack-wise. And I have to play, like, so sweaty to beat it. Like, as soon as I, get, I gain position, I have to just spam that direct ball. Unnecessary. Nice run. Yeah. You ain't manual go goalkeeping this one, bro. You can watch as many tutorials as you like. Manual goalkeeper ain't gonna save you. crazy the only way if he scored and it stops it really is man because look when he's playing 4 2 1 3 2 fullbacks attacking he will outnumber you usually we're not used to that because even the best players in top rank would never have fullbacks attacking that's why it works for a while Guys, no bad at all. But some of these guys, for instance, if he takes Pizarro out, he can give me a more of a hard time. I don't think he's realizing that. So, sometime having a big guy in the middle works. He's got two fast players on the flank. It's a good plan. See, fullbacks overlapping. Gotcha. Now I'm going to smoke you. See? She didn't get away with that shit, bro. There's a reason why we don't let fullbacks overlap. Shame. You don't know the value of a OP free team you got. Lost against three teams with way less strong team before. Two attack and fullback, single DMF Enzo. It's not a good defense. But hey. <clears throat> this is just a Bayern style of goalkeeping? I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, you made a joke. Yeah. He's very good at Bayern style manual goalkeeping.
This might be the last Sunday we're doing a... Uh, through 3 a.m. stream. I think we're better off just doing it on the Monday. Because the uh, problem is on Mondays, we gotta be up at 8. What the fuck was that, bro? Hey, what can I say, man? The game has to give the guy with a weaker team and a lower rank something to fight for. You know what I mean? Can't make it too easy, for, too easy for me, or too difficult for him. Or he will just stop playing. Remember the survey? Why did you stop playing? Um, I can win a lot. Yeah, that was that was a question in a survey, by the way. So ask yourself, why is that? Why is that an option to answer why you stop playing? What would they do if majority selected? I stop playing because I can win often. What do you think they will do? Of course, they will add match balancing. Doesn't take a genius to realize that. Unless you are one of them captain positives. It's okay. Stay positive. Falsely. Just a matter of a discussion, man. I'm not necessarily complaining. They spank these type of opponents all the time. It's not because they have a weaker team. I think I often lose against free teams. At least the opponent knows how to uh, use the power of these players. Might be free, but that, that, that featured in Pape, the free card. The France one, if you use an 88 proficiency manager. Ridiculous. Can we blitz now? I bet I'm gonna score. I bet I'm gonna score. Oh. See, I press too little, it's too little. I press too much. I get advice that I press too much. Shit. Man, the goals I'm conceding though. Let me ask you guys a question, right? How the hell a 4-2-1-3 with two attack and fullback, a single defensive midfielder, okay? Has a better defense transition than this. What I have three center backs, defense on Philip Lamb, defense on Vieira. And I have three midfielders. So think about it. If tactics made sense, that shouldn't happen. I should have a better defense transition. Just saying. Nice to see how Vinny has more physics than Araujo. Just saying, bro. It's not a conspiracy. I'm supposed to go and play safer. Gonna have to let Philip Lamb overlap. Gonna risk it for a biscuit. Just saying, bro. You can't have 4 1 2 3 with two attacking fullbacks, single DMF, having a better defense transition than a safe 4 4 2. Do I ever use DMF with defense instructions? Yeah. <coughs> 
But against this guy, I need deep line on a DMF. I just don't want him to go anywhere. And because I have a full bag overlapping, I need deep line on a DMF. I wouldn't use deep line on a DMF if full bag has defense on. Wow. He's found the way through. This is not a dribbling, man. He's just teleporting. This is not. I'm sorry. This is not a good dribbling. He's just teleporting. I swear. Slowest players are the fastest. Look. Oh, my God. Well, he got the comeback goal, so yeah, not surprised. Those tired average free cars are beasting right now. Look at the speed of them. I have to say, these type of squads are more intimidating than full epic team. You guys saw the last match last night, right, against top 200 with a full epic team. I did not make a single comment about players. It's a full epic team. Two strong teams, the challenge would be mainly about the users. The one touch fiesta. The one touch fiesta. Holy shit. Everybody's phenomenal passer. Everybody's phenomenal passer. Holy shit. Everyone is a phenomenal passer suddenly. That's all you need. You don't need two boosts, bro. You don't need two boosts. Just need a comeback. I've not done anything since he scored that goal. You guys notice? I'm just too busy fixing everybody. Fucking ridiculous, man. I swear to God. Absolutely ridiculous. I wonder why I don't see pay two and crybabies anymore. Real pressure penalty this. There you go. This match is a definition of tactics, players, player skills, stamina, aggression. So when all that gives you advantage and the guy knows how to play, that's what it is. You see, I'm not disrespecting the user. Unlike most people, when you have Epic, they always diss you. So got this entire team, everybody moving perfectly. For the entire game, he just had better defense transition. Even though he had two attacking fullbacks. Think about it. I'm just saying, bro, that we care about tactics and formation, right? It matters what instruction we use, what kind of players we select. Well, there you have it. Well, I explained it. I didn't even run there. I did not even run there, man. Free Maradona does not get tired. Does not get tired, bro. He almost got the winning goal. Almost got the fucking winning goal. Look at the shit. <laughs> you gonna finish now, of course. Let me just say this, by the way. GG, good opponent. But as I explained at the start, you want to talk about defense transition, elusiveness, counter pressing, stamina, better players, pay to win players, player ability, player skill, 
all that went out of the fucking window. I mean, because listen, he's simply playing 4 2 1 3 with two attack and fullback, single holding DMF, which he isn't, he isn't even that good. All right. He's crossing better with Vinicius' weak foot. Vinicius managed to physically beat Araujo in a way. And I held my ground. So if tactic matters in games like this, how does a team that is so offensive with two attacking fullbacks has a better defense transition than this? I use this against him, actually. On paper, these players, are, you know, they're paid to win, you know, 10 times better. I had defense on Philip Lam, defense on Vieira. And I had three midfielders, a box-to-box. -box. And I got absolutely annihilated because I was too busy manually repositioning these guys. Do you know what I mean? Not a single player got tired. In fact, when he got the goal and he went with mentality, everybody just got resurrected. But as I said, like most people, I have an epic team, they diss you. They call you pay to win as, a, as if I'm, I have no skill whatsoever. But I never diss the guy with a free team. Look, if I was using a team like his, he's playing 4 2 1 3, two fullbacks attacking, and transition is pretty much 3 4 3 in a sense. If I use a team like him and using a, such an offensive setup, when I lose the ball, I have faster and more aggressive transition back to defense when I'm attacking. Players are elusive, making runs. They're all ready to counter press. Nobody's get tired. I mean, if my free team acted like that and I know how to play, oh, there you go. Hashtag just saying. Painful draw. Especially at the end, dude. Like at the end, suddenly he just went 10 meter one touch fiesta. It's not a complaint. I'm just talking about my experience. Maybe it's the way I talk. People think every time I analyze a game or talk about a subject, they always translate it into I'm complaining. Or uh, some toxic kids call it crying. Zabd and Jason, Yazid. Now, I know probably on YouTube or here, you guys will say the scripting, etc., I think there's a very fine line between scripting, what some people translate it into. Some people doesn't believe in it, don't believe in it. You got three-time players world champion talking about scripting. You got bot, uh, top-ranked player talk about scripting. You got in dominator. Most of you guys know him talk about scripting. But for me, it's match balancing, really. We know now they nerf and buff player skill, player ability with every patch. You know when you play a game against a computer... There are a bunch of 56 rated players, but you play on legendary and they play like 90 rated. What makes you think such thing is not implemented? Because as I said, in the survey, there was a question, if you stop playing the game, why? And there was a bunch of answers. One of the answers were, I can win often. So imagine the developer is asking you a question, why you quit? And a bunch of people select, oh, because I can win a lot. What do you think they will do? Don't you think that is a clear indication of, hey, there are way more better, there are way more casuals and noobs than good players, and we got to balance things out so everybody enjoys the game because that's their slogan right now. Do you know what I mean? They're literally downgrading console for us. So, I mean, the game is getting carried by mobile. I'm not going to deny that. I'm just grateful my childhood game is still around. That's why you always get people like saying, Hey, man, why are you playing this shitty game? It's like, dude, PES was like my childhood. It was more than a game. So I'm just happy something like that still exists. But that's a clear indication for it. And I'm not even getting into the dynamic difficulties because at least on PES, it was more like that. But at the moment, the balancing is so clear for me. You don't need a fucking top 10 guy to, to tell you that. You really don't. Otherwise, I can line up a bunch of them tell you that too. It is, man, because I always give that example. You know, I would say, hey, man, how does um, Van Dijk survive for 90 minutes? I'm not even going to talk about chasing every fast player, even off the ball, both 
how does Van Dyke survive for 90 minutes? I just put on a fresh leg, Van Dyke's two meters behind, and it's still accelerating. How does he not get tired? You know, so people would say fighting spirit. Well, when a game was released, you can't give a player a skill. We didn't have that function, and Van Dyke by default doesn't have fighting spirit. I rest my case. It's a frustrating, frustrating draw, man. And that, that's a clear example of... Um, you get one of these toxic free-to-play guys saying, oh, well, if, if you... You know, I complain often about free Rodri. It's because a player like him shouldn't be that fast. Positioning, okay. Passing, okay. Technique, okay. But accelerating like Vieira and most fast DMFs is bullshit. And that's me like... I talk about stuff like that because we do player reviews, we give advice, we talk about formation, tactics, player training, player ability combined with skill, and so on. And we see stuff like that that goes against what we normally advise, which is annoying. Most people don't focus on that part of the thing because their mindset is mindset's more positive, which is not a bad thing. I just can't polish shit to be positive. 